the African Fund for Endangered Wildlife, AFU Kenya, popularly known as Giraffe Center Kenya, was founded as a not-for-profit biodiversity conservation organization and has been championing environmental conservation and protection of endangered wildlife for the last 40 years. Pioneered by veteran conservationists Jock Leslie Melvin and his wife Betty Leslie Melvin, the organization's main purpose is to protect the endangered wildlife species, the Rothschild giraffe, its flagship species. Giraffe Center has since grown to become one of the most visited and unique sites to safely view and interact with the Rothschild giraffe. It is a well-known ecotourism site. My parents, Betty and Jock Leslie Melville, bought the house back in the early 70s and there were a number of wild giraffe wandering around this greater property, this area. Then my mother heard about the, the, the plight of the Rothschild giraffe. There were only 120 left in a ranch near El Duret and that was being subdivided. So that means the game, the wildlife would go. Children would be hiding in the bushes to see the giraffe. Tourists would just drive in to see the giraffe. At that time, there was less television. There were fewer books and magazines and wildlife clubs and things like that to go to all the children. And the tourists obviously were happy to pay something. The facility is among the top 10 locations to visit in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. The Anderson couple attributes this tremendous growth to remaining true to the organization's core mandate, conservation for sustainable development. This is a nature sanctuary for the Rothschild giraffe, and it is evident. The American organization has bought, purchased for the Kenya organization nearly 100 acres for the giraffe to be able to browse and the other wildlife on this side of Nairobi. Also, the center has become more popular and tourism are coming. We're raising extra money to give to other conservation projects all over the country. It's a long list of organizations that we have helped in the last 40 years. This building was raised and the giraffe were at eye level with the children. And what you see today is a, an expansion of a very simple thing in the beginning. The organization has been on a rapid growth for the last 10 years in the areas of conservation, education and other key areas. What makes me feel happy is that this is an organization that is Kenyan based that is generating money and giving literally all the money that we make to other conservation organizations. In schools, we very much focus on the young people who are coming up with the projects in terms of conservation. We believe that the future really lies with the young people in terms of conserving the environment. To turn an organization from a loss making to a surplus is always an enjoyable journey. The organization was set up to protect biodiversity and the flagship project here being the endangered Rothschild giraffe or what would commonly known in Kenya as the Baringo giraffe. At the giraffe center we have particularly provided a safe space for the giraffe to breed for onward rewilding into protected areas as assigned by the Kenya Wildlife Service. The giraffe center as a facility has grown. Infrastructure wise, today we have a modern tourism experience offering to our customers. Thanks to the visionary leadership of the board of directors, we have been able to uh, provide a space that has improved the customer experience today compared to what we were before. We've been able to come up with a few uh, sustainability strategies within the center and everybody has to unbind by the same and we have also to share the same information with the guests coming to the center. So simple uh, sustainable practices like how to interact with the giraffes, respecting their welfare, 
you know, helping people to enjoy the space, but also have the minimum impact on nature or the environment. The center has grown in popularity and it has become one of the best world known you know, nature conservation centers and also sustainable tourism centers in the country. And we believe moving into the future, the new space will help the Jura Center to grow uh, in regards to sustainable tourism and also nature education and biodiversity conservation. And with that growth, Giraffe Center has had significant impact in the community, both socially and economically. The tourism social enterprise supports entrepreneurs providing goods and services. The organization is intentional to create opportunities for economically disadvantaged producers, a tenant for fair trade. The organization also seeks to promote sustainable raw material extraction. Kevin Chore is a supplier of tourist gift bags to the organization and has been doing it for the last six years. Chore is one of the young and innovative entrepreneurs providing services for the tourism social enterprises, Giraffe Center. When we walk in Giraffe Center, we can put on a pack through envelope like bags. Lisa come on as a taka easy bags packaging through these bags waka buy your idea waka sema yiko sawa waka niambia niya tengaze samples waka tengaze samples tuka anza tulianza kaa kazi yiko chini chini at some point tuka pick up start up tulianza na 500 pieces 500 pieces hiyo time hata ziku wazi naenda sana 2016 waka improve kidogo demand in daily call almost 700 hapo 2017 waka demand yika shoot up yika kuja almost uh, have a minimum of yeah, 2,000 pieces to 35,000 pieces per month. In the last two months, we may supply 4,000 pieces. Afu Kenya also supports conservation projects in partnership with various conservation organizations and community-based associations. The organization has so far supported sustainable conservation projects to the tune of 300 million Kenya shillings, anchored on these five themes. Endangered wildlife conservation, habitat restoration, human wildlife conflict, capacity building, and marine ecosystem conservation. Some of the projects include the translocation and reintroduction of the Colobus monkeys into the Karura Forest and Gong Forest Sanctuary. Protecting the important water catchment area, the Abadea National Park, through a fencing project. Supporting the Forest and Ranger Scouts program at the Arabuko Sokoke in Kilifi and the Mount Kenya National Park. Advocacy for the protection of the endangered African elephant and building capacity of the judiciary and the public prosecutor's office for management of wildlife crimes in Kenya. We have seen the growth of partners, the growth of engagements with other organizations and in various capacities, both in private and public, we talk of 35,000 students coming in per year. Over the period, we have been able to engage partners and uh, a significant partner are those who implement sustainable conservation projects within Kenya, protecting biodiversity again. It was an aspect of, can you link me up with the schools that you work closely with? When I'm working in this section, I can bring the school. And then we looked at now, how can we now be part of the support? So we've done several works with them. Or oh, they would join me in my campaign as far as Nairobi, when I was doing the East Africa, or they were from Kisumu back here. And that's how this one opportunity. We each other we saw. In fact, I remember the first funding was less than 100,000. But over time, I have also grown with them. And I'm very happy because of the effort. They have also listened to me. They have also bought an idea from me. We've helped each other. And the confidence, again, if you can start funding someone from uh, 100,000, now they bought me a vehicle which is uh, 7 million. About 30 kilometers from Giraffe Center is another facility that has immensely benefited from support by Afu Kenya. This is Karura Forest, an urban uplands forest on the outskirts of Nairobi. Uh -huh. Friends of Karura Forest is a CFA that was formed 
in 2009 and it started its work in 2010. In 2005, the government allowed communities living within the peripheries of the forest to participate in management of the forest, in what they call participatory management forest. Friends of Karura was formed in 2009, and uh, by 2010, we opened and started operating in Karura Forest as a CFA. Not very many people knew about what we call the participatory forest management. And uh, the, most of the CFA that are, were registered by that time, three of them, they actually had the issue with funding, eh? and they had to go out and look for funds to help in learning the forest. And one of the few people who came, an organization who came, had it to help the young CFA, FKF, was Giraffe Center. Karura Forest, as a public green space, has indeed undergone massive transformation, all thanks to support from Afu Kenya. The improvement in key facilities here has led to a rapid rise in the number of visits. The conservation of this green space speaks to Sustainable Development Goal number 11 on providing universal access to safe, inclusive and accessible green and public spaces. One of the things that we did was to demarcate and mark the forest. In uh, Giraffe Center gave us around 1 million to fence part of what we call Sigiria Brock with electric fence. One of the things that makes Karura a good place to visit is that you are sure it's safe, secure and serene. And to do that, you have to wade off those people who would be, would be having bad attention. And for you to access the Mau Mau Caves, it was slippery. So they gave us around 600,000 which we used to make the steps to, to make the caves and the waterfall accessible. One of the best and successful projects we've known for, for time is the translocation of Korobas monkeys, where they were destructive from Kipipiri area in Nyadaro to Karura Forest. We brought in 142 initially, which was 2014, 2015, 2016. Eh? And currently, those were 22 families. Currently, you can be surprised that we had a 218. It means that this area is conducive for the livelihood. They stay well, there is enough food. Above all the programs, conservation education remains key to the future of Giraffe Center. Langata West Primary School is one such beneficiary. The program from Giraffe Center has changed uh, our children's mentality. Our children love their school and the environment. Anytime you call them to come and plant trees, even to bring from their parents, it has gone even to their parents and the community at large. And Giraffe Center has done that, making our children do exactly what the world wants them to do, to turn the world green. The organization also contributes to various sustainable development goals which include SDG on Education for Sustainable Development, SDG on Action to Reduce the Degradation of Natural Habitats, Loss of Biodiversity and Prevent Extinction of Threatened Species, Promote Sustainable Tourism Enterprise, Provide Safe and Inclusive Green Spaces for All and Engagement in Partnership to Build Synergy for Sustainable Biodiversity Conservation. The next 40 years for us looks very promising. We want to continue to promote learning. We want to continue to promote uh, the just cause for sustainable development. Kenyans of all ages and socio-economic um, uh, lifestyles can appreciate what is here in Kenya that is so valuable and needs to be protected. The future of this organization is to support other organizations for the next 40 years. Of you, Kenya has indeed transformed many lives and impacted communities, creating a sustainable environment for conservation. As the organization celebrates 40 years of existence, the future looks very promising under the organization's vision, a world living in harmony with nature. And you too can be part of this vision. <laughs>